Hey guys, welcome back to the Vice Casting Couch. Today we'll be looking at a new version of the CH341A programmer. And one of the reasons we're looking at this new version is the old version, while it looks sleek with its black PCB and it works, it has a problem. It has 5 volts and a 3.3 volt pin, but regardless of which one you're using, the data lines will always be 5 volts, which could be damaging depending on your chip. If you're flashing it while the chip is still on the motherboard, that voltage could also go to your south bridge and damage that. As you can see, here we're testing it, and even though that 3.3 volt pin is there, the data lines still are showing about 4.8 5 volts. Now there has been a few mods that have come around. This one, I just soldered two wires and lifted a pin on the chip and it works and it'll make it 3.3 volt. But then you're just stuck to 3.3 volt. So as you can see, I'm gonna do a quick test. This first pin will still be up there in the 4.9 five volt range. And then the second one is our 3.3 volt pin. But the two after that are our data lines, and as you can see, 3.2, so we're good to go. Now, do you want a permanently modified device, or do you want one that has more options and is selectable? So here you can see we have the 1.7 version of the CH341A, and it has a selector, and it can do 5 volts, 3.3, 2.5, and 1.8 volts, which is pretty nice. Now we're just gonna give it a quick test to make sure that this voltage selection actually works. I realized a little bit later on I could have put the probes in the socket, but I just chose the pins. It's all the same uh, connections, but um, pins were the first thing that came to mind, so I'll just do that. Here we're gonna test the, the pins the same way we have been doing before, but on this one, instead of five volts and 3.3 at the top, the second pin will be based on the selection of the switch on the side. So here we're at 5 volts, so we're getting what 4.8, 5 volts. It's right in the range of that on both pins just because that's what it's set at. And then we'll do the data lines and those will read 4.8 as well. Now moving to 3.3. And as you can see we're getting 3.3 on both the voltage pin and the data lines. So it's looking pretty good. Now we're switching to 2.5 volts. Like before, five volts on the first pin, but now we got 2.5 on the voltage and 2.49 and 2.49 on both the data lines. And then finally, we got 1.8. Same thing as before, 4.8 at top, 1.89 on the voltage, and then 1.88 on both the data lines. Now, a lot of people will recommend using the Raspberry Pi to flash your BIOS. Say if you're trying to put, you know, Libre Boot on your T500, you could use Raspberry Pi. And if you have one on hand, do that. It, it's cheaper, you already have it, go for it. But if you don't have one and you're trying to buy one, the prices are ridiculous because of their shortage going on. As you can see, some of these are going for more than $200. Now, you could just hop on AliExpress where this thing is sold and buy the CH341A I just reviewed that has the voltage selection and it's only $11.83. Yeah, it takes a little bit longer to get shipped because it's coming straight from China, but I'd much rather have the voltage selection capability. That way, if down the road I'm flashing something different and it uses a different voltage, I'm good to go. And it's way cheaper, even when pies are normally priced anyway. Now, so for anyone getting into BIOS flashing, do not get the standard CH3418. Get the one with the selectable, voltage and you'll be good to go I just wanted to make this video to make sure everyone was aware and at least give more coverage to this new version because it's not really publicized anywhere I only found out about this due to a YouTube channel called admin IT he made a video about this and showed it off so I want to make sure I also showed it off because you know four out of the last six videos I've made have been about BIOS flashing in some capacity and I'd hate to see if you guys were to try to either attempt fixing it or install core boot or something like that to damage your laptop or fry the chip you know so with this new version out there make sure to get this one I'll put the AliExpress link down below 
Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give us a like down below. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns. And make sure to subscribe to see our future videos.